IAMA, my name is Alton Brown. I cook stuff and make TV shows about cooking stuff. My new project is called Good Eats, The Return. Let's talk. It's been almost seven years since we released a new episode of Good Eats. Well, I'm thinking we're back. Good Eats, The Return launches August 25, 19 with 13 freshly baked episodes and I'm ready to talk about them. Proof, thanks everyone for your great questions and for hanging in for three hours. Please check out my interview with The Fork Report this Saturday at kpm640.iheart.com and don't forget to watch Good Eats, The Return this Sunday at 10, 9 c. You can watch the first episode now at or on YouTube. Zenrio, so excited for the reboot of Good Eats. I started watching that show when I was 12 and it was always my favorite cooking show. My question is what is your go-to meal to cook when you have no idea what else to make? Thielton Brown, roast chicken, and waffles. M-H-E-I-L-2, Mr. Brown. I've seen you twice at Gum Tree in Hermosa Beach now and never got up the courage to say hi and thank you for inspiring me and so many others to cook. So this is me saying hi. And thank you. Also, what's your coffee order? Thielton Brown, these days, black and hot. Squirkletherwagons, have you had a chance to read the Food Lab, and what did you think? I'm sure Kenji took a great deal of inspiration from Good Eats. Thielton Brown, best food book since on food and cooking. I don't know if Kenji got any inspiration at all from Good Eats. He's brilliant. 86 All Day, what was the hardest thing to learn to cook? Thielton Brown, properly. Utamius 21, do you know ahead of time what the secret ingredient will be on Iron Chef? You always seem to know so much about it. Thielton Brown, yes, I always knew. But look at it this way, that was only one ingredient. What I didn't know was what special ingredients the chefs would bring with them. That was always a mystery and forced me to think quick. I always lost weight on that show just from stress. Alterna Fiction, Alton, I've been a huge fan of Good Eats for most of my life. My dad and I used to watch it together and it's been a big influence on my love of cooking. We saw your live show in Portland a few years back and it was so special to have that moment with him. My question is, what new food movements and trends are you most excited about, as a chef and as a consumer of Good Eats? Thielton Brown, I'd love to be able to answer this but I generally just hate trends. But if I had to pick one it's probably the slow acceptance of vegetarian food as just, good rather than, vegetarian. Justin Barner 93, will the show be different in format? Also, do you remember those bad-ass cabinet drawers you had on the show that rolled out? Those were awesome and I think about them constantly with envy. Thielton Brown, everything is better and my cabinets are more baddest than ever. Kojuro 5, how do you decide what to make for dinner? Thielton Brown, step 1, open the refrigerator door. Callaway, thanks for bringing back the Good Eats universe. What is the dish that got away and you could not make it into a show? Thielton Brown, sweetbreads. Amranzikahayev, I am so stoked. What made you decide to bring back the show? Which show, that you've been on, have you enjoyed the most? Thielton Brown, I always planned on bringing GE back. I planned on a five-year break but due to the second live show, Eat Your Science, I got off schedule. Good Eats is my one and only baby. Everything else is frosting, excuse the mixed metaphor there. I'd never put frosting on a baby. Kristenua, is Lucky Yates back with the show? Thielton Brown, not in this set but we hope to be able to get him in the future. DB Cooper underscore IRL, hey Alton. Long time fan. I want to thank you for the way you have changed and depend my appreciation and understanding of food and the cultures surrounding it. I love how GE gives a cross-section of a particular food item by telling the history, origins of it, explaining the chemical process behind its preparation, and then showing you how to make it. 
You've enriched my life immeasurably, and you created one of the best shows ever, IMHO. Just wanted to tell you that. Only question I could think of to ask is, what's your favorite restaurant in LA, both high-end and more affordable? Looking forward to the new season. Thielton Brown, thank you so much for your comment. My favorite restaurant in LA is and always will be Musso and Frank. Jennyland, will you continue to do Comic-Cons with Adam Savage? I love watching y'all live your best lives together on the floor. Thielton Brown, no that's not really my world and honestly Adam is way too smart to hang out with the likes of me. He's a marvel, honestly. Eldritch underscore Basil, hey Alton. I've been making copy in a French press based on a clip from the original Good Eats, and I have two questions. First, should the water be straight out of the kettle, boiling, when I pour it over the grounds? And second, is some coffee silt at the bottom of the cup normal? Thanks so much for the show. My sister and I have watched every episode ever made together. Thielton Brown, I usually add a little water and swish it around to bloom the grounds for a minute before adding the rest of the water and, yes, it's normal. Hazajulian Hazi, hi Alton. I wanted to first thank you so much for the original Good Eats. When I was growing up, I spent my weeknights staying up past my bedtime watching rerun after rerun. Fast forward 10 years to me completing my BA in culinary science in August of last year. You were the first source of culinary inspiration and I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. My question is regarding the current trend of fine dining. It seems the growing, gourmet, casual, scene is becoming more popular than the traditional suit and tie fine dining. I've also found that, in my own dining experience, the chefs behind the menus in these restaurants tend to pump out better, more creative food in far more approachable atmosphere. My favorite restaurant right now is Coquette, in New Orleans. They gave me a better dining experience with similar quality ingredients at a quarter of the price of some traditional fine dining restaurants within a couple blocks. Have you found this to be true in other cities? Do you think this trend will continue? Other thoughts? Thanks. Thielton Brown, all I'm going to say is that my favorite restaurant has tablecloths, waiters in uniforms, cold martinis and perfect steaks. I have my table and I go there often enough to keep it that way. I'm a huge fan of fine, but not fussy, dining. Kyle 3 Wad 3, do you know how insanely impactful your unique approach to the culinary arts is to young adults? You inspire me to try new things in the kitchen every time I watch you. Don't ever stop. Thielton Brown, I don't know but I'm glad to hear you say it. Thank you. 10 minutes to downtown, hi Alton. I made a half batch of your aged eggnog, last summer since I was a little wary about it but super curious. Opened it around Christmas time and loved it, and instantly regretting only making a half batch. I ended up having to just give out shot glass sized samples of it to people who tried it. I made a full batch of it in early July and it's just sitting in the back of my fridge getting better and better each month. Anyway, just wanted to say thank you for this recipe, as well as a bunch of other great ones that I use on a regular basis. Since this is an AMA, I guess I'll ask a question. I know you hate single-use kitchen gadgets, but are there any that you have and use on a regular basis that are worth it in your opinion? Thielton Brown, Corkscrew, Busted. Cypherbear, Alton, how do you prepare for episodes? Do you find yourself doing a lot of research about certain themes and topics beforehand? Do you have a team to help you with the research and preparation? Thielton Brown, every GE episode is not only heavily researched but completely scripted. I have a full-time researcher and a science researcher on retainer. I couldn't do this without them. But to put it in perspective, this current season took 8 months to research and write, including recipe development, and 50 days to shoot. SM0KSTR, Good Eats is the reason I became passionate about cooking and the science behind it. You didn't just teach me how to make a recipe. You taught me techniques and principles that opened up whole new worlds of culinary possibilities.
The things your show has taught me over the years are invaluable, and I want to give you my most sincere thanks. When you were learning, what dish blew your mind the most when you learned the specific scientific reactions? What was your biggest AHA moment? Thielton Brown, scrambled eggs. Mind-blowing every time. Mulligan 812, will Thanksgiving Live make a comeback in 2019? Thielton Brown, there are a bunch of plans for various live projects this year on Food Network and I'm involved in at least two of them.